first two. <laughs> now, I think there's a lot more to unpack here. So why don't we just read verses one through seven and, and we'll, we'll take care of it. Um, when Moses had finished speaking all these words to all Israel, he said to them, I'm now 120 years old. I'm no longer able to get about. And the Lord has told me, you shall not cross over this Jordan. The Lord your God himself will cross over before you. He will destroy these nations before you and you shall dispossess them. Joshua also will cross over before you as the Lord promised. The Lord will do to them as he did to Sihon and Og, the kings of the Amorites, and to their land when he destroyed them. The Lord will give them over to you and you shall deal with them in full accord with the command that I have been that I have given to you. Be strong and bold. Have no fear or dread of them, because it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and bold, for you are the one who will go with this people into the land that the Lord has sworn to their ancestors to give them, and you will put them you will put them in possession of it. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. God's word. God's people. Thank you, God. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So what sticks out to you then in that? I mean, there is a lot there, right? Yeah. What else do you see? And, and I, I recognize some of the things that he says, like in, in verses four and five, he is um, he seems to be and well and even even part of verse six he seems to be summarizing um, some of the things that we've already experienced in numbers right yep although uh, much shorter and more to the point so here in Deuteronomy much shorter yep. he's reminding them of what has happened really is what Moses is doing yeah but then verse six well, verse six, seven, eight again, he's telling them to have courage, be strong, be bold. Mm -hmm. Do not fear, for the Lord is with you. And, and obvi before. obviously, I'm paraphrasing there, but that's really what he's saying. So, Carly, have you? What's something hard you've had to do? I think a math test, math theology. Math <laughs> test. Okay, so so. When you're doing your math test, would it be helpful for you to remember all the ways you had succeeded at math before as you head into that math test? Well, it'd be a good idea to go in with a good thought. All right. Why? So I'll be prepared for the test and remember the curriculum. So you remember what you've done. <laughs> So if you're looking at it going, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this, how likely are you to pass? With an F. Right. So that's not very likely. That's not a pass. <laughs> so unless, <laughs> unless North Carolina's grading system a little different than we have up here in the north. <laughs> I don't know, though. Right? <laughs> so if you go in, though, saying, I've done this before, I can do this. How does that change the experience? Then you're happy. Mm -hmm. Then you're good. Makes you feel better about it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Once you've done it, you know, you can do it again. And so reminding them of, okay, you, you've done this. You've taken the land. You defeated these kings. You've done this before. So be strong and courageous as you're going in because it's going to be challenging as you go into the next part, right? Just like you going into a math test or y'all going into moving, you know what? We've done it before. We can do this again. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so that knowing helps. One of the coolest stories. Yep. What else? Anything else? Well, I also like how Moses, in this sense, addressed the next generation, which was Joshua. And the whole difference between a good leader and a great leader. Oh, somebody listened in Bible study. Woo! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow.
Be <laughs> out here for entertainment, teenager. <laughs> yeah. So he is the difference between good leader and great leader. He makes sure there's a leader in place for the next people to follow, right? Mm-hmm. So what would we pray for people today? Have strength, have courage. Do not be afraid, for the Lord is with you. Owen. God, help our people to have strength. God, help our people to have courage. God, help our people to know that you are with them all the way. 